All right, welcome back. I'm JC with Ignis Bushcraft, and today I thought that I'd show you an easy way to do a traditional fire lighting method, uh, namely flint and steel. All right, for the flint and steel method, you're gonna need, obviously, a piece of flint. You could also use quartz or any very hard rock. You're gonna need a steel. You don't necessarily need to use this kind, any piece of steel that's flat will work. Next, for the easiest method, you'll need some char cloth, which looks like this. I'll probably cover how to do that in another video. And third, to make it easy, you'll need some sort of fibrous, natural material, like this. This is jute twine. Something else you could use that I recommend is some sort of dried herb-like plant. So this one's actually dead and dried up goldenrod. All right, the first step is to use your twine or your natural material and process it down into a fluff like this. It's going to be very fluffy and very airy, so this will work very nicely. Alternatively, you could just use a pile of dried herbs like these ones. For the next step, you're going to need to use your actual flint, flint and steel. So in this case, it's a very traditional one. So the first thing you'll do with your char cloth and flint is you'll place the char cloth on a sharp edge somewhere on your striking flint. So here's a sharp edge right here, a nice one. So you'll place it like so. Now all you do is you take your striker and you're gonna strike, but for, before that actually point this sharp edge towards the sky or 45 degree angle, I suppose. Just so that the sharp is up. Now strike it. And all you're doing is making sparks until one lands in your char cloth and starts to burn it. As you can see, we got one here. Now you're gonna place that in your bundle. Like so. Right. Up a little bit, let it warm up. Now what you're going to want to do is blow on it. And eventually it'll catch on fire. Just like that. So as you can see, it's not a very difficult method uh, to achieve. And you don't need to have a traditional monkey fist shaped steel. Here's a kit that I made. Um, this one is just an old file that I found. And I just, as you can see, squirt it off. And this works wonders. Now, let's say you didn't have a steel striker or you couldn't have any. Well, there's one piece of steel that's always on your person at all times when you're in the woods, and that is a knife. So what's important for flint and steel is that the piece of steel you use is carbon steel, not stainless. So you can use the spine of a carbon steel knife as a striker instead. So today was the very simple method of doing the flint and steel fire because you had char cloth and we had jute twine. But alternatively, we would have to use something like birch bark, the herb we showed, or punk wood. All these would be quite successful. So this has been JC with Agnes Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.